Welcome to another video. In this episode, we'll be discussing or answering the question, will Israelite women get new bodies right along with the Israelite men? All praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And the video will be entitled, Will Do Israelite Women Get New Bodies Right Along with the Israelite Men? In his response to a question that was asked on the comment board, I would have to say, you know, a lot of you Israelites, you're just not listening. You're not reading the scriptures because when you read certain scriptures, things are very plain. OK. And you find new ways to ask unintelligent questions, new ways to ask the same shit over and over. Let's just start from the top. Somebody named Esau's Destruction. Right now, this was in reply to a video I did about Bishop Nate. The video was entitled, let's go to it. Um, Bishop Nate, the rod of iron will prevent uprisings in the kingdom. And it was in response to the madness that Bishop Nate was teaching about Esau rising up in the kingdom. And let me say this, Bishop Nate, you confused a lot of people with that stupid ass breakdown. And that's blood on your hands. You confused a lot of Israelites. And, and, and it's, it goes both ways. Nothing happens without the Heavenly Father's consent, right? You brought a bunch of confusion when you put up that whack-ass breakdown of Ezekiel 38, 39, and all the shit you were saying. And may it be unto you, you know, unto you for, uh, for a testimony against you, okay? Because that's what the whole aim and goal was. But at the end of the day, we know that the only people that's going to really get confused are thrown off is those that are not of the elect. Now that doesn't mean that if you get confused about a topic and you hear the, and you get the right understanding that you can get back on track. It does, you know, it's not saying that that couldn't happen. But I mean overall, those that get so confused that they wind up falling out or just missing something important, it's supposed to be that way. The Heavenly Father ordained that individual for that condemnation. So we ain't worried about it. So the uh, Esau's destruction says okay I've learned a lot from GMS correcting false doctrine but now I'm confused about Ezekiel 38 and 39 what time period does this take effect see here we go when we get spiritual power and new bodies is all nations at that point coming against the Israelites when we get to Israel and then Ezekiel 38 and 39 takes place I'm just trying to get clarity so that I won't be confused. I was thinking wrong, just like Bishop Nate, and assuming that all of these nations rise up against us in the kingdom after they're released when the thousand years is over. Clearly, you've corrected that, and I thank you, thank you very much. Okay, and this is the thing: we spent all that week. Every brother that does videos, you know, regular videos went into that topic and you you managed to miss all those i don't know how here is a video right beside the one you watched explaining everything that you asked bishop nate esau will be destroyed after a thousand years right he's gonna be destroyed we explained it in that video to esau's instruction you can watch this video or you can watch one of the other hundred videos that other brothers made breaking it all down i'm gonna say it real plainly this video proves it and other videos prove it when we go into the kingdom ain't nobody gonna rise up against us at all all right get unconfused about that there's the ezekiel 38 and 39 is before we go into the kingdom before we go into the kingdom right all nations gonna be basically they're gonna be Esau going to be in slavery. Okay, before we go into the kingdom, when they fight World War Three, that's the end. When the Lord comes back, saves his elect, nobody's going to rise up against the Israelites anymore once we establish the kingdom of heaven. That's it. Esau going to be destroyed after a thousand years. He ain't going to convince no damn nation. Then we spent all week, two weeks going into that. You can either watch this video or you can stay confused. Right? Oh, let me, let me rephrase that. You can either watch this video and others like it that other brothers did and or this video watch their videos however you want to do it gms put the understanding out there if you're still walking around three weeks after bishop nate said that or let me just like it 10 days it was 10 days ago 
So if you're still walking around confused, after 10 days passed and we all did videos about it, that's on you. We're going to move to the next part of the question. That's on you. And which really the next part is really simple too. And when I say simple, I'm talking about you have to be really pretty fucking simple to break things in half that much. And what it really shows is that you spend too much time watching other Israelite groups. And then you want us to come back and clean your damn brain out if you get cobwebs in it. Cobwebs are confusion in your damn head for watching too many groups. We're gonna say, I'm gonna say it again right now. If you watching two different groups with two different doctrines, you fucking going off. You bringing confusion on yourself. And then you try to bring the confusion back to us. We're not gonna spend our lives trying to get you unconfused. Watch one fucking group. Watch one camp. Watch one teacher. You don't need to go and try to watch all the groups because you're not going to understand the Bible that way. If you knew the GMS correct this false doctrine, why you ain't just stick with us? Why the have you just stuck with us? Because when you if you watch the GMS video, playing Bishop Nate's video, you saw us correcting his madness. So that must mean you watched him first or some however. Anyway. Let's go to the second part of the question. The second question I have is do the Israelite women get new bodies right along with the Israelite men because the scriptures say our women will be saved through childbearing. I'm confused on this as well. Ock. Dude, you must not understand salvation. So let me get it straight. You want to know do the Israelite women get new bodies along with the Israelite men when y'all going to be saved together? I don't understand like i don't get where you confused about that part you're combining things you heard with other things you heard and you ain't read you can't be reading the scriptures there's no way you could be reading the bible if you don't understand that let's go to it now brothers let's answer the question for them do israelite women get new bodies along with israelite men good lord this is first corinthians 15 and 15 i'm not down talking to nobody that's sincerely looking for understanding okay that individual was on some other shit. Most of the brothers, when I shared this, most brothers said, this dude is scoffing. <laughs> I don't think he's scoffing because I know how simple Jake can be. But you could not have read 1 Corinthians 15 and 15 and still be asking this. The mystery of resurrection. And I and we did videos on that as well. Going into that. I just did a video, a long ass video. Let's see if I can find it real quick. And, and before Bishop Nate came with his madness, Geno Jennings said that World War Three is uh, that uh, World War Three was at the end. I went into a video then there on here on him. Let me just find it. Just bear with me here, brothers. Um, let's go to live because it was a live video. This video right here, when the grace period is over. Uh, no, not that one. Salaki right here. Rapture conversation. Do you understand how we will be saved? Two hours and one minute, 24 seconds long. I know for a fact I went into 1 Corinthians 15, 50. I went into 1 Thessalonians 4, 15. I went into the whole salvation. I mean, I went thoroughly through that, you know, through a lesson. And we always go through stuff like that. But here you are now, confused as hell. Don't know what's going on. So will the, new, will the women get new bodies right along with, with the with Israelite men? Well, the answer is simple. Yes. Yes, they will, because all of the elect is going to be saved together. When we get saved, beamed up into the chariots, which is men, women, and children all together, we're going to receive new bodies at that point. Throw the stuff out of your mind about they shall be saved in childbearing, all of that. Throw that out. Because if they get saved, that's the, po that's the reason, part of the reason why they're being saved. That's something separate. The new bodies, we all going to get it. Let's read it now. First Corinthians. 15 and 50 because i don't know what you think you think the women gonna get the new bodies in the kingdom we already there they they're not real they're not super you know they're not immortals yet we're immortals already as the men the women are not immortals so let me guess we're gonna we're gonna bust off in them then they're gonna turn into immortals from our super immortal sperm i don't get it man first corinthians 15 50 now this i say brethren that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the most high there you go it's right there Neither doth incorruption inherit Salaki. So neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Here's another one. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. That's men and women. 
right those that passed on before us and those that are here when the lord comes back we're gonna all be changed the elect we're talking about all of us i know we say this every day almost every week that the two-thirds are gonna be reborn in the kingdom through their immortal parents and then they too themselves would be immortals on this side the two-thirds would get cut off and die and you know now that i think about it <clears throat> this this individual must certainly watch iuic on the regular i'm gonna say it again if you think you're gonna watch iuic and gms and you're gonna follow both camps you gonna be bugged out because bishop nate is doing some confusing shit over there and we're gonna spend the rest of our lives trying to unconfuse you one more time first corinthians 15 15 behold i'll show you a mystery it was a mystery but how yeah, shall reveal it to us through, through his Holy Spirit? But there's still parts about it that is a mystery. How are we going to look? Things like that. We don't know that because it's not written. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Men and women alike. Children too. Old people. <clears throat> How's it going to happen? In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed you see that we shall be changed and that's all of us they don't say the men are gonna be changed first then the women all of us for this corruptible must put on incorruption and when i say all of us i'm talking about all of the elect men and women both species both genders not species both genders male and female <clears throat> if it's a baby the baby gonna be changed because why flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the most high so you must be changed to superhuman individuals you your body must be changed the lord is going to do something with the elements in us he's going to change us we're going to be turned to where we can be immortals we won't be in sinful flesh anymore we'll be perfect and gms always teach this where you been in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump <clears throat> excuse me for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed for this more this for this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality see that yeah you yeah, mean mortal man brother no women and men so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written death death is swallowed up in victory so in order for death to be swallowed up in victory what must happen we must get new vessels new bodies in which death cannot inhabit death cannot touch corruption cannot touch mortality can no longer touch we will not be mortals anymore we'll be immortal only for the israelites <clears throat> only for the israelites because jake asked me last the other week are uh, israelites only is esau gonna get new bodies what why would the fucking wicked get new bodies then they're going to be destroyed how are we going to destroy them that can't be destroyed if they become immortals but they won't ever be able to be destroyed then would they so the answer to that is no only israelites would get these new bodies let's go real quick to, uh first i want to look at first thessalonians <coughs> see what it says so i'll see if i even need to read it um we don't need to read it we're going to go right to I had it and I lost it. <clears throat> oh, let's go right to Philippians. And then we're going to end the video. Philippians 3. Philippians chapter 3. And you know what I should do, Salak, your brothers? Before we read Philippians 3, let's, let's go to the NLT for this and see what it says. <clears throat> Come on, man. That didn't happen. All right. 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 15 and 50 in the NLT what I am saying dear brothers and sisters is that our physical bodies cannot inherit the kingdom of the most high these dying bodies cannot inherit what will last forever that's even more plain right and it says what dear brothers and sisters but let me reveal to you a wonderful secret we will not all die, but we will all be transformed. All who, brother, brothers and sisters. It will happen in a moment, in the blink of, blink of an eye, 
when the last trumpet is blown. For when the trumpet sounds, those who have died will be raised to live forever. And we who are living will also be transformed. Transformed. For our dying bodies must be transformed into bodies that will never die. Our mortal bodies must be transformed into immortal bodies. Then when our dying bodies have been transformed into bodies that will never die, this scripture will be fulfilled. Death is swallowed up in victory. Now that got good. I enjoyed it. Let's see now what the good news translation says. This is and the same thing you see us do, Jake. You supposed to do the same thing. You supposed to study, look up words, cross reference, look at different versions. That's what you're supposed to be doing with your time. Not going from camp to camp. Can you imagine how much you could learn if you locked in and studied on the GMS just one camp and let the other camps do what they're doing? Just forget about them. Forget about them. Just in the time that you will be watching the other camps, you should be studying. You will learn so much. Something you really want to know. You ain't going to go and dig into the scriptures yourself. You're going to just, I'm confused. You just stay confused till somebody answer it for you. 1 Corinthians 15, 50 from the GNT, which is a good news translation. What I mean, friends, is that what is made of flesh and blood cannot share in the Most High's kingdom. And what is mortal cannot possess immortality. Listen to this secret truth. We shall not all die, but when the last trumpet sounds, we shall all be changed in an instant, instant as quickly as the blinking of an eye. For when the trumpet sounds, the dead will be raised, never to die again. And we shall all be changed for what is mortal must be changed into what is immortal. What will die must be changed into what cannot die. So when this takes place and the mortal has been changed into the immortal, then the scripture will come true. Death is destroyed. Victory is complete. I love it. That's fire. Now. Let's go back to the KJV first right then we will go to philippians and read when we actually get the new bodies we already know who is going to be women are going to be among those that do it that get that gift this is philippians 3 and 15 let us therefore as many as be perfect be thus minded and if in anything ye be otherwise minded, the Most High shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, whereto we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule, let us mind the same thing. Brethren, who are the brethren? Surest men, but women are among the brethren. Brethren, be followers together of me, and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. For many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross of the anointed. Whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly and whose glory is in their shame who mind earthly things. Talk about wicked Israelites. For our conversation is in heaven. From whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. So who's going to give us the new bodies? Yahweh Shai. Him with the key, the keys of hell and of death. Also has the key of David and of eternal life. He's going to give us eternal life, new bodies, immortality. This is the N NLT Philippians 3.15. Let all who are spiritually mature agree on these things. If you disagree on some point, I believe the Most High will make it plain to you. But we must hold on to the progress we have already made. <clears throat> Look, dear brothers and sisters. What? Dear brothers and sisters, this promise is to you. Women too. Women too. Esau's destruction. Pattern your lives after mine and learn from those who follow our example. For I have told you often before, and I say it again with tears in my eyes, that there are many whose conduct shows they are really the enemies of the cross of the anointed. They are headed for destruction. Their God is their appetite. They brag about shameful things and they think only about this life here on earth. But we are citizens of heaven where the Lord Yahweh Shai lives. Yahweh Shai Hamashiach lives. 
and we eagerly waiting and we are eagerly waiting for him to return as our savior he will take our our weak mortal bodies and change them into glorious bodies like his own using the same power with which he will bring everything under his control and that's the answer let's see if we can get it here philippians 3 <clears throat> This is now the Good News Translation. We're going to go to the book of Philippians chapter 3. Right? Good News Translation, like I said. Philippians 3.15 All of us who are spiritually mature should have this same attitude. But if some of you have a different attitude, the most I will make this clear to you. However that, however that may be, let us go forward according to the same rules we have followed until now. Keeping on, keep on imitating me, my friends. Pay attention to those who follow the right example that we have set for you. I have told you this many times before and now I repeat it with tears. There are many whose lives make them enemies of Hamashiach's death on the cross. They are going to end up in hell. <laughs> in hellish conditions, okay? They're going to end up in getting destroyed. Because their God is their bodily desires. They are proud of what they should do. Salakia. They are proud of what they should be ashamed of. And they think only of things that belong to this world. We, however, are citizens of heaven. And we eagerly wait for our Savior, the Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, to come from heaven. He will change our weak mortal bodies and make them like his own glorious body. Using that power by which he is able to bring all things under his rule see so yeah women get the mortal they get immortal bodies new bodies right along with the men that's it nothing else to say about it all praise to yahweh by hashem yahweh shai shalom